Now, part of the Kangaroo Island experience is you just come in, you've got a little roof in here, you're sitting down and you're going to have a lunch. And look what they set up for you. My favourite onions. I like white onions, we don't get enough of those in India. A lot of other pink onions, but I like the white ones. That's potatoes, here you go, turn them around. You can do that too. If you're coming to Kangaroo Island, it's part of the experience. Don't carry your food along, but the food will be here. Just do it the way you want. So this is the thing. Steve's taking us around, he's telling us all about the seals. He's going to take us to Admiral's Arch. He's also going to show me how to do a little barbie. And of course, as you know, I've been eating a lot of salads around Australia simply because the produce is so fresh and so just naturally tasty. Love sun-dried tomatoes. There's a little bit of cheese in there, cucumber. Love the greens. But what I'm really waiting for is those lightly cooked onions. Can't be better than that. No, it cannot. Kangaroo Island, it's untouched nature at its very best. Easily accessible from Adelaide. The city, remember, that's hosting India versus Pakistan at the World Cup. Kangaroo Island, that kind of day today, we're on Seal Bay. And that means there's lots of them around, the big males. It's a breeding season apparently, so they're, they're pretty aggressive. So Clar Clarence tells us, it's a good time to be here? Oh, it's a great time to be here. And you were telling me this is a bedroom, they just sleep here because they've come back after what, swimming three days? Yeah, so they swim, three days? swim for three days and three nights foraging, then yeah. they come back here to relax. And they'll spend about two or three days here resting before they head out to sea again. So what they're doing here is just relaxing, the food's all in the bed. Yep, they've had their food, so now yeah. they'll just rest for a couple of days. Once they're hungry, off they go again to feed again. Okay, it's an interesting life then. You get a lot of Indian tourists then coming here because we don't, we don't get to see this in India. No, so we do, yeah. We see yeah. a lot of people from all over the world because, yeah. you know, it's a great opportunity to see these animals in the wild. Are they quick to, across the sand? They can be. Because we can't? No. Because I, I tried being quick. Yeah. <laughs> Your legs sort of stay where they are. 